Good morning, Hootie here. Old Bear and I are- Are you recording this time? Yes, I'm recording okay, this time. <laughs> um, I just messed up, yeah. Um, but we are here at the REI at the uh, Perimeter Center location, which I guess is the uh, most common location for hikers to get picked up. So we're waiting for Tom, our shuttle driver. I arranged a pickup with him uh, yesterday. So he'll be here soon. And then he will take us to the uh, state park. I'll check in later. wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys real quick. Uh, you can see behind me my bed is a mess with all of my things out. Um, also, if you haven't seen my last video, I wanted to show you guys this um, adorable um, custom bag from Hilltop Packs. You can get your own food bag customized and it is waterproof all of the things um it's made out of the dynamo dynamo material um, but you can put your own picture on it and so i have a picture of my boyfriend and my dog and i just love it so thank you hilltop packs for that that was very chaotic <laughs> um but i just wanted to catch you guys up so uh, last night, Dad and I flew into Atlanta. We landed around 6.30 p.m. We stayed at a hotel uh, nearby the airport, and then the next morning we went back to the airport and caught the MARTA to the Sandy, Sandy Springs station, and um, we went to the REI at the Perimeter Center Street, which I guess is the most uh, popular REI for hikers to get picked up at. So we had um, coordinated... Last night we had coordinated a shuttle to pick us up and that was with the Appalachian Adventure Company and and our driver's name was Tom so shout out to Tom. He doesn't know about my YouTube channel because I didn't tell him but that's totally okay. Um, he was phenomenal. He was so nice. He had his little wiener dog with him. He was so cute. Um, but he was such a wonderful person. He picked us up at the REI and um, he drove us here to the state park, dropped us off up at the lodge, and we just made great conversation. So once we got dropped off here at the lodge, um, Dad and I, well, we tried to check in, but check-in's not till 4, and we had arrived at around 11.30 noon. And so we just sat outside on the uh, balcony. The weather today was beautiful. I took a couple pictures, so I'll show you guys. Um, and we just kind of sat outside and relaxed. I edited my last video, and... Uh, but yeah, we just sat and relaxed and enjoyed the nice weather until we could check in and then we checked into this lovely room, which I will make sure that I show you guys if I haven't already. And um, yeah, we just had lunch earlier and then dinner and I will admit the buffet is a little bit expensive. The food was really good, uh, but the lunch was $20 per person and the dinner was $25 a person. Uh, but we had shrimp and grits for dinner and I made sure to load up on the shrimp to make it worthwhile. So. Um, I don't know if the menu changes. I, I would hope it changes, but we really enjoyed dinner. But because it was so pricey, we're probably going to not get the breakfast buffet. We bought some um, Cliff Bars and we've got some extra food, so we'll just kind of snack for breakfast. Um, but the plan for tomorrow morning is we are going to hike down the East Ridge Trail to the Visitor Center from the lodge here. And... Um, We'll go to the visitor center and we'll check in. We'll get our AT tags and then we will set off to Springer Mountain. So really exciting. Um, we had a great day, beautiful, beautiful weather. Um, I'm just happy and I'm just filled with joy. 
I'm so glad that I get to share my journey with you, and I've been having a blast watching all the other hikers' videos, so it's really great to see that there are a lot of other vloggers out there. Um, but yeah, I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Dad and I left the lodge this morning and we walked down the East Ridge Trail to the visitor center and we just checked in, got our AT hang tags. Um, I'm number 1400 and uh, it's a beautiful morning, sun's out and we are headed up the west side since the approach trail up the falls is uh, closed right now. So heading up the west side. So uh, I'll check in later. Bye. about 12 40 p.m. feels like it's much later but I think it's just the haze there's a fire nearby but um so my dad old bear is not going to be coming with me this trail is kicking my ass at the moment I'm on the approach trail but um with all of dad's conditions we decided that it would be best if he did not come along, he told me to go on without him. I don't really have anything else to say right now. I want my dad to be here, but I want him to be safe first. Hey you guys, I uh, made it to Springer Mountain. I made it to the shelter. I'm at a campsite and I'm halfway through pitching my tent, but um, there's this teeny little bluebird that's here. Um, just hanging out with me and I wanted to show you guys. He kind of just went behind the tree. There he is. Anyone know what that is? Let me know. And again, here is my half pitched tent. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. But I'll check in after I pitch my tent. Bye. Good morning. I just slept. Well, barely slept. I had a rough night. Uh, my first night on trail. I slept here at the Springer Mountain. The uh, sun is coming up, so it's going to open my little eye, see if I can't watch the sunrise a little bit, but um, yesterday was hard for many reasons, so I'll um, talk to you guys in a bit. Alright, so I just went to the privy and grabbed my food bag and I came back and look at this.
So I've been walking for about 30 minutes from the uh, Springer Mountain Shelter and the trail was pretty rocky coming out of there actually but now that it's at a nice easy decline and the trail is nice and dirt and not rocks I thought I would give an update. Um, so yeah yesterday was, uh, was rough but um, the approach trail was not a joke. Uh, I definitely underestimated it myself. Um, it was very challenging, but I did make it up to Springer. Um, I was so exhausted last night, I wasn't sure if I even wanted to eat. Um, but once I got my tent set up and my sleeping pad, I kind of just took a nap at like 5 p.m. to 5.40. And uh, then uh, one of the Appalachian Trail ambassadors um, was walking around when I went to go put my food bag away. And he mentioned that the sunset would be really nice if I wanted to head back to the uh, Springer Mountain um, Overlook where the terminus is. So I mustered up the energy and I went out there. He was not wrong. So thank you, Chris, for that. And uh, I took some pictures of the sunset and it was beautiful. Um, I slept like absolute shit. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I just couldn't fall asleep. I was warm. I wasn't cold. It was not windy. It was a quiet night. I just slept like dog shit. <laughs> and my, my Garmin watch is bullying me, telling me like, oh, don't exercise today. Take it easy. And I'm like, Garmin, I got places to be. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, woke up. was feeling a little bit queasy. Um, but I had my coffee and the coffee picked me right up. So thank you, Sam's back home for saving me all of those Starbucks veranda blends because they are delicious and it was just what I needed. And, uh, I decided I would eat breakfast at the, um, at the shelter table so that I could try to meet some people. And sure enough, there will always be veterans everywhere. And <laughs> so I kind of introduced myself and... You know, I could just get the vibe that they were veterans. Um, one was the name of Odie, and the other went by Toothless. <laughs> Odie was in the Army, and uh, Toothless was in the Marines. So I told him that I served in the Navy. And yeah, honestly, talking to them felt like talking to all the guys at work. They are very kind and just treated me like a normal person. You know, some guys kind of tiptoe around females, but I think once they realized that you know, I was a vet and that they could not have to watch their mouths or watch the, what they joke about. Um, yeah, we just had a nice conversation. And uh, so I'm setting off. The goal today is Hawk Mountain Shelter. And um, it just got nice and nice and shady. <laughs> um, I know I keep saying, um, I'm so sorry. It's hard to walk and talk in cohesive sentences. If you've never vlogged before, like me, <laughs> um, it's a lot harder than it looks too. So, uh, but I'm feeling good. Oh, and one more thing. Um, as I was crossing the road, coming up to a parking lot, a, um, a black truck came hauling ass inside of the parking lot. And I was a little taken aback, like, you're coming in hot, please don't hit me. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, it was for a good reason, uh, or I guess not a good reason, but a man jumped out, introduced himself as Coyote from the Above the Clouds Hostel, and he said that he was on a rescue mission looking for a guy named Patrick, and he showed me his picture. So I'm only on officially day one of the trail. Yesterday was day zero, and already someone is being rescued. So yeah, it's hard out here. And uh, I think some people may not realize just how difficult it is until they're actually out here with all of this weight on their shoulders. Um, so I hope that Coyote finds Patrick and that he's okay. And if I find out anything else about that, I will be sure to update you. Stay safe out there.
You guys think that uh, woodpeckers made these holes? I just met a couple. We were kind of leapfrogging each other. Um, and we kind of got turned around at the Stove Creek shelter. The white blazes weren't very obvious, so we're kind of helping each other figure out which way to go with the Far Out app. But I learned that they've only done a couple uh, four or five day backpacking trips um, up in Maine, which is where they're from. But they told me that they were saving Mount Katahdin. They've never hiked it, like they were saving it, so that they could hike the AT, which so that they could hike it when they hiked the AT, which is a dream that they've had for over 20 years. And I just thought that was so beautiful. And they're both out here together and they're doing it. And they're gonna walk to their home state and hike Mount Katahdin together. And I just think that's pretty cool. And a little romantic. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just thinking about that and I wanted to share that with you guys. Hey again. So I was just walking and I realized, gosh, it's much shadier than it has been, and I'm surrounded by all these pines. It's just so crazy how quickly the terrain can change, because this morning when I left Springer Mountain, all the trees were naked, and now I'm under all these pines. I've got a ton of shade. Let me show you walking forward. tell how much I'm sweating? This part of the trail, this hill, I saw it on the Far Out app and in the guide and I knew it was going to be steep, but it is really steep. I don't know if you can tell, but that is probably like 12% incline on a, on a treadmill, so <laughs> I'm probably going like five or ten minutes and then taking, catching my breath, so all right so i made it to the hawk mountain shelter and i just came down here to fill up my water at this lovely lovely little creek area um, there are some nice folks up at the shelter. We've been chatting. Well, they've mostly been chatting. I still am trying to find my, uh, my outgoing personality. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's been nice, quiet this afternoon. I arrived at the shelter at like 3.30, um, so I've just kind of been sitting on the front of the shelter, um, planning out tomorrow and just eating and talking and, yeah, talk to you guys tomorrow.